so sad. All because of an insult. All because they didn't put a fucking arch support shank in it. All you had to do, man. Like, do they not have it in here? Ah. Look like it. It's a good looking shoe, though. Welcome back to Diamond Bros TV. Here we talk about basketball shoes where game meets style, right here on our YouTube channel. Let's get it. Support by Charlie Mobile, the fun network where you and your friends stay connected. Welcome to the channel where ball is life. Let's talk about the sneakers that get us there. I'm G Money, and as always, my man Amigo is behind the camera. Today we have the Nike Air Zoom GT Run. Traction Intact. The Nike GT Run features an actually really good traction. You see the pattern here? It kind of reminds me of like river rock in a canyon or some water ripples or even like a pod-like traction. This setup really helps with sudden stops, gripping the floor, and making lateral cuts and agility moves pretty quickly. The shoe also features a good amount of tech actually. As you can see here, it has an outrigger that kind of reminds me of a Kobe 5. Right, amigo? Yeah, it looks identical. And on the side of the shoe, there's also this plastic piece that says Air Zoom. That plastic piece plays a pretty important part in helping with stability of the shoe so your foot doesn't roll over and hurt your ankle. So that's actually very important. But more interestingly, it says Air Zoom. You know what that means? It has zoom inside the shoe. So here in the forefoot, it has a double stack Air Zoom unit. Double? Double, so one on the bottom, and then stack with one on the on the on the top, which you can feel right underfoot, and it feels amazing. Other tech in the shoe is here in the heel. It's really stiff, helps you stay locked down when you lock the laces really tight. As you can hear, it's really really stiff. Listen to this, amigo. You can barely press it in. Another piece of the tech is in the tongue. It's actually pretty slim. You know, we're gonna get that into that in the cushion section, but it's really, really slim, makes the shoe really breathable. And I think that's an important feature tech-wise for this shoe. So all in all, traction is really good, features a lot of tech, and a lot of people don't know about that. Traction test time. Oh, that's a little slippery. Yeah, man. Cushion and fit. The Nike GT Run features a pretty interesting setup of cushion. It's excellent from the mid of middle of the shoe down. And it's kind of weird from middle of the shoe up. So let's get into that. The whole shoe features React foam from heel to the forefoot, and React is one of Nike's best foam technologies. It's super comfortable, really bouncy, and it really helps you play basketball for a long, long time. The front, as we talked in the tech section, has double stack Zoom Air, which makes it very comfortable on your foot. So the cushion from the middle of the shoe down, it gets the job done really well. Now let's talk about from the middle of the shoe up. So this upper here is really thin for breathability, and that kind of hurts the cushion aspect of it because they kept everything thin. The, here it's thin, in the tongue it's thin. Even here, the padding around the ankle and the heel, although it looks like there's a lot, you know, these pieces don't do you any good for padding. It's not comfortable, it adds no cushion. So I find that cushion setup to be kind of odd. Fit wise, I would say go true to size. This shoe is great for anyone that's 
you know, plays a two to four or even a center. I don't recommend this for point guards. I do recommend this for shooting guards or power forwards or even centers. It's an excellent shoe for those type of big man players or even, you know, people that play off the wing. So again, stay true to size. It's a one to one fit and make sure you lock down properly because up here it's so thin if you lock down too tight you'll start hurting the front of your foot materials and style the nike gt run feature pretty inexpensive materials here on the upper it's really plasticky I think they could have done a better job with that, but I understand why they went pretty cheap here. They wanted to keep the shoe lightweight and really go after the run title. And they did well with that, but they had to use cheap materials. Same with the tongue. It's very skinny, very slim like we talked about. And here, the foam. The foam is pretty plush, good to the touch, but they didn't use much of it and that hurts around the ankle and the heel. So overall, they use pretty budget-friendly materials here for the GT Run. Now let's get into the style. I think the style looks great. Don't you think so, amigo? Yeah, it looks rugged. They use the Moab colorway, and that's Moab, Utah. As you can see, they use all hints of that canyon. The blue for the sky, the orange for the, the canyon look. They have some hints of green about the trees and bushes that are in the area. And on the inside of the shoe, it kind of reminds you of a mountain range. You see the peaks and the valleys, and the shoe looks rugged overall. So the style is kind of like a hiking shoe that you could play basketball in. Isn't that cool, amigo? Yeah, it's almost like an SUV. And what's really cool about it is, this is kind of the first Nike basketball shoe or Nike shoe I've seen with the uh, Nike swoosh, swoosh split. And inside the split, they have another swoosh. I think that's pretty freaking cool. Yeah, that's crazy. I don't know why they would do that. Right, and overall, the materials they use are cheap, but I think they did a great job with the style. Good balance. And again, I think it looks really cool. Amigo, it's time for those Easter eggs. So the Nike GT Run features some kind of interesting Easter eggs, but a lot of them are introduced not on the shoe. We'll get into that. One of the best ones that I like says right here, amigo, you see? Fatigue is the enemy. And that is a great way to describe this shoe. You could play hours of basketball on these because the cushion setup is awesome. So that makes a lot of sense. Another cool Easter egg is here in the heel. It says BB and the basketball and 21. BB means beyond basketball. And then the basketball there and 21. I think 21 means the year the shoe was released. Now let's get to the most interesting part of the shoe, and believe it or not, it's here in the tongue. So the tongue features the Nike logo here on the top, and right below it, it has a greater than logo. GT Run means greater than running. And then it also features on the tongue, it's pretty light, but another basketball, some design elements, and then BB again beyond basketball then we get into the shoe a little bit deeper in the tongue and that goes behind it so I'll turn the shoe around here and you can see it says greater and then on this side it says then so that's GT greater than we what got symbols mean over there if you could zoom in the symbols here are pretty interesting it shows like a foot and underfoot, it shows some cushion. That is the double zoom units we were talking about. It almost looked, it looks like a foot with a Z. So it's like a four foot zoom. And on the other side is a leaf, keeping the materials eco-friendly and breathable and kind of going back to the spirit of the Moab community, Moab mountains. And on the other side, 
you have tune and heartbeat. So I guess tune your game, get your heart rate high, and keep running in these shoes. GT runs are available in a lot of colorways, but here today we have another special one. The Team USA colorway. These are actually really nice. What do you think, amigo? I like them. And here it features the Easter egg that shows you it's from Team USA. So these are pretty special. Features all the other same Easter eggs. It's just different back here. And I think that's really cool. Court Field. The Nike GT Run, in my experience, have been an excellent performer on court. I've played hours of basketball in these many, many different times and these shoes keep getting better. And there's certain things I like about shoes and certain things I don't. In these, I felt the lockdown was a little bit tough on my feet. I need some pad extra padding around my ankle. And, and I also take out the insoles. The one thing that this shoe is lacking is some sort of arch stability. And my orthotic provides that for me and it really helps the shoe get to the next level. The insoles that it comes with, I have them right here. It's actually pretty unique. It's a React insole. So it takes time to break in, but it does mold to your feet. And I suggest if you're gonna use these insoles, they are great. Just make sure you break them in and get your feet molded into them before taking them on a full run. Otherwise, swap these out for an orthotic. All in all, you can play hours of basketball on these, you know, quick cuts, Great shooting, great finishing, and you don't get tired. The React Foam really does well, and a four foot zoom is something special. I think this is a sleeper shoe, honestly, and all in all, this shoe, in my experience, has been great. All right guys, it's time for our diamond rating on the Nike GT Run. We talked about the traction, the tech, how has this pod river rock look, and how it actually does really well. We talked the tech with the outrigger, the plastic here on the lateral side, the double stack zoom air here in the forefoot, and the React foam, which is all excellent tech. We talked about the cushion with the React foam, and the fit to stay true to size. Then we talked about the materials and style, how the style looks really great, but they really went a little bit cheap here on the material. I think that impacts the overall rating for this shoe. And how the insole features a React insole, I would suggest break these in again or swap them out for an orthotic, which is highly more recommended because it provides arch support which you need in a shoe such that with that is that explosive. All in all, this is a great performer, a major sleeper. Put an orthotic in, a custom one. This is a game changer. The GT Run is a great shoe. But because of the, the shoe's budget-friendly materials and the setup it comes with, we're gonna give this an 8.15 out of 10 diamonds. So lace up, comment, hit like and subscribe, and come ball with us. It's more than a game, it's a way of life. Thanks, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.